Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, Conor McGregor's Proper 12 Blended Irish Whiskey. It's a minimum of three years old, bottled at 40% ABV. Big thank you to Jesse. He is a coworker of mine. He was able to grab this over in Michigan and was kind enough to lend it to me to do the review. Whenever a celebrity gets behind a product, sometimes you throw up a red flag. We'll see how Connor did with this after I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, on the nose. So the first thing I get is like new make spirit. New make spirit, it's just unaged whiskey. It's what comes right off the still. Sometimes it's bottled and called white dog. It's just that kind of alcohol forward, kind of like grainy note. You get a little bit of caramel and vanilla. Those are kind of like muted, more kind of in the background. A little bit of pine here as well. It's kind of like a lot lighter than I'd expect, but um, not very pleasant on the nose at all. All right, let's go palette. So again, pretty much everything that I got on the nose transfers over to the palate. First thing you get is that new make, young tasting, alcohol, grainy kind of note. The caramel and vanilla are there, but again, more kind of like artificial kind of flavors to those. And then the pine, very muted again in the background. Um, yeah, a lot lighter than I expected. It is smooth whiskey, triple distilled. Sometimes you get that, you know, that lighter, smoother profile. Um, not very complex, not a lot going on here. I would assume, if I had to guess, they're using third fill casks or maybe fourth fill casks for this whiskey because you just, it's almost like you're tasting nothing. Just a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of pine, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of uh, vanilla, but not much. There's not much substance to this whiskey whatsoever. Um, Score-wise for me, um, I'm reviewing this like I would review any scotch that I do on my channel. Um, so the score is going to be relevant to what I've had. Um, I'll give it a passing mark, 55 out of 100. Um, but like, like I said, I'm reviewing this like I review a normal whiskey. This whiskey is not intended to be drank from a Glencairn, obviously. Um, 20 to $35 US um, entry level stuff. This whiskey was designed, obviously, for people who watch UFC, who are Conor McGregor fans, um, something to drink on fight night with their friends, and of course, yeah, that, this whiskey, sure, that kind of served that purpose. Um, but not from a Glencairn. This is how this whiskey is meant to be enjoyed, by shooting it, of course. Um, so let's see how this, uh, this lives up in a shot, because I think this is the way that you're going to be doing it. You know, you play a drinking game when you're watching UFC, you know, takedowns, a sip, knock out, a shot, you know, cheers. So, not the greatest shooter. <laughs> um, but I mean, it is what it is. Five bucks, I think, per case goes to first responders. So, you know, there's a kind of a good feel story to it. But for a whiskey connoisseur, you're not going to like it. For anyone who drinks Irish whiskey on the regular, I don't think you'll like it. But I think if you're getting together with your buddies, you're watching the fight, you're a Conor McGregor fan, you know, pass this around, have a couple of shots, mix a drink, sure. Um, but that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this before? What's your opinion on it? Um, are you an Irish whiskey fan? What's your favorite Irish whiskey? Uh, for me, Red Breast makes a really good range. The 12 cash strength, I think, is a really good value whiskey. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel before, um, hit the button if you want. There's a lot of good reviews coming up. Um, I got a little library of stuff. I kind of just started the channel. So I love your support. Leave a comment below. Give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.